Hi Collective, Gigi here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, right now I'm coming in with another Divine Feminine reading. It just came through. I literally just got done doing another reading, so I'm going to just take this time to take this energy. I've got sage going already. I'm going to make my bowl sing. But I was being given, I was being given another premonition, you guys, like the energy right now is crazy. Um, I see somebody on her knees praying, I mean, sobbing and praying and saying, please don't let it be true. I can't be pregnant. I can't be pregnant. I want a real chance with this person. My soul can't take it anymore. I want my person crying and screaming at the top of her voice on her knees in a corner of her, it, it just looks like a corner in a hallway on her knees crying into her hands crying and sobbing I just want my masculine I just want my masculine I love him I've always loved him from the moment I, I laid my eyes on him I knew I knew he was my person this person's heart was just feels like it's being ripped out of her chest it can't be true it can't be true and then i'm being hold on a second it's shifting to another person in the ex it looks like different person exact same spot in a co corner in the hallway crying hysterically oh my god i can't be pregnant it can't be his i can't it can't be his it can't better not be his i don't want it with him i don't want it with him i don't want him i don't want him i want my person i want my person so you have one person begging to not be pregnant because she really wants to be with her person and then begging that the person and then the next person so there's two women okay one woman I'm being it's being thrown I'm seeing both women okay at the it, it seems like it's happening at the same exact time or it happened at the I'm being told it happened it's a past tense thing in the past already happened this is how it one woman was like I don't know how I could be pregnant I just don't want to be pregnant I don't know how it could even be happening I don't want to be pregnant God please don't let me be pregnant I'll do anything I just want to be with my person I don't know how this could have happened I don't know when when this was even possible It could be possible, but I don't, I just, there's just, it doesn't feel like there can be any way. I don't know what's going on. God, my soul can't take this anymore. I want my person. And then you have person number two saying, I don't know what's going on. I can't be pregnant by him. I can't be pregnant by him because I want this person. Now, I want to say, I'm being told to say person A is a more mature woman I'm being told a more mature woman and the second person is a much younger person she is younger than this mature person this more mature person so they're they're mature but one is older than the other okay the one over here with only one person saying I just don't want to be pregnant at all I just want to be with my person her Okay, that's the more mature woman and the other one with the two guys, she's a younger person. Okay, both of them don't want to be pregnant because they're both looking for their man and this one only has one man and, and one man that is in her eyes that glows like the heaven, the heaven, the light of heaven to her. Okay, then you have this other one that looks at that energy that she's pregnant by or she thinks she's pregnant by, we'll say it like that because I'm being told the decision hasn't been made yet on who's the father okay at that point she's saying I if I don't want to be pregnant by this person I want my person the person she wants the baby with I'm being told is the one she is pregnant by she is pregnant by that second person not the one she doesn't want it with she, she's getting what she wants she is being given a child by the person she wants. Now, the thing is, is it's, it's a whole lot of up and down, okay? So there's one person that wants an energy, and then there's another person that has two energies surrounding her, and the one that, that 
I'm being said that really wants her doesn't want her doesn't she doesn't want him at all like at all like she looks at him with disgust she looks at him like I see devil horns she looks at him like a, 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 an evil bastard to be honest with you I might my, my throat and face are on fire like I, I, I like like she breathes fire to this person. She says such nasty, hurtful, disrespectful things. And the thing is, is this young girl is stabbing this masculine as hard as she can and she's laughing about it behind his back. As he's, I see her laughing like a hysterical demon and he's sitting over here crying about it and the thing is is i see her flipping him off like this at behind as she's going it's going over her shoulder like this waving goodbye as she's going off with another person as this masculine is sitting there hysterically sobbing and then all, all the while, we have this other person just sitting in the corner just saying, I just want my person. I just want to love this man. He brings light and joy and love to my life. I don't know how I could have gotten myself into this predicament. I really don't have any idea. I just want my person. So that's what I've been given. That was the message that's surrounding this reading. This reading is for my collective. If it does not resonate, please don't force it. Put yourself where you belong in the reading. Gigi is not a therapist. She's just the friendly, humble neighborhood Gina that wants to come out and help you guys see whatever it is that you're going through. So with that being said, we're going to call upon the Holy Divine. Holy Spirit, come down and please guide and protect us as I channel this energy surrounding our collective. Please allow your angels to come down and guide me and protect me. Archangel Gabriel, I please ask that you come down now. I feel Archangel Gabriel with me now. Please allow me to channel clear and precise messages for our collective Archangel Gabriel, please. Archangel Michael, please come down and protect me and my collective as I channel this energy surrounding us. Please do not allow any darkness to enter this reading. Please only allow pure heavenly white light to surround this reading. Angels, ancestors, loved ones, thank you for joining me. I appreciate and love you all. Let's start this reading. Oh. Zodiac. Zodiac is important. Then we're going to get our female oracle because we need to tell our feminine, our divine feminine, that's just sitting there in this corner crying hysterically, just wanting her man. We need to tell her something, okay? Thing. I know, I'm, I won't say anything, Spirit, I promise. But the thing is, I want to tell you something right now. I need to lower this. Okay. I'm being told right now, the moment that I'm explaining it, that I was given in this premonition, in that moment was when the moment when these people, this one, uh, the more mature woman, made her decision on the man she wanted. And the younger woman made her choice to be an evil manipulator. That was the moment. This happened in the past. I'm being shown the moon to represent the, represent the sign of cancer. I'm being told that th there's a cancer that could be involved or it could have happened in the month of... the around the through the sign of cancer which is may and june no i'm lying excuse me june july i apologize sometimes i have a dyslexic moment uh so june july okay time is when all of this could have happened whenever you're seeing this again time's fluid so it was in the june july time frame of your past is when this decision was made okay June, July time. I'm being told, I'm being shown a date. I'm being shown June 18th through the 19th. June 18th and 19th. June 18th dash 19. No, no, no. 16th through the 19th. 
I'm sorry, excuse me, the 16th through the 19th, this could have happened. Very, very, very specific. But I'm being shown the, the number 18, so I'm seeing 16 through the 19th, but the 18th is a very specific day somehow, or some kind of number. Maybe somebody could have been 18. I don't know. Whatever the case may be. These are the numbers I'm being shown. 16 through 19th, and in the middle is 18 with a circle, and I see June. Let me write it down for you so you can understand what I'm seeing, okay? This is exactly what I see. There's a, a little dash there. That's what I see in my head right now, okay? So however that resonates for you, I'm being told to put that there. So let's get these shuffled. So yes, around this time, the more, the more mature woman made her choice on who she wanted to be with, and then the other female, the younger female, made her choice to be a manipulator. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I need a pen. I need a pen. I need a pen. Not a marker. Just it doesn't matter. Here we go. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit speaks, I listen. Okay. All right. What do you got for me, Spirit? What's the zodiac signs in this reading? We have Leo. We have air, so uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then on the bottom we have Saturn, which is Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay. Now let's get our Divine Feminine Oracle deck out. to show the bottom of the deck first. In Hadunana, oh my goodness, the High Priestess. I'm being told that a High Priestess is involved in this. The Divine Feminine is a High Priestess. The true High Priestess. The one true magician in this situation. I'm being told the one true magician. Okay? I am one with my soul and my soul is a legacy of love and any Divine Feminine will be full of love. Full of it. Full of all the love that can be mastered. You know what rules the Leo sign? The sun. Think of the warm, nurturing love of the sun when you think of a divine fe feminine, okay? Kali, the mother of the universe. Again, a very nurturing soul, okay? I release all that does not serve me. It is time to be the truth of who I am. This person is going to be an authentic soul. This person's not going to give two flying fucks. Excuse my, my French. Gigi has a potty mouth. It'll eventually... St I'm, I'm working on it, okay? I, I am. This person realizes her worth. And she will release whatever doesn't serve her best interest. Okay? She's standing in her truth. She's standing in her truth. And she's not letting a single person judge her. Amaterasu... The goddess of light, I am my Amaterasu. I apologize if I'm not saying that correctly. This is the goddess of light. 
we are all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light so I feel like this is necessary to say like I say in all of my other readings be mindful because if you are the divine feminine in this situation and you really truly are a powerful no I'm being told the high priestess the high priestess you have to be extraordinarily cautious of what you reflect okay now if you're allowing your emotions to get the best of you and just just raging like you're manifesting things even if you don't realize it so be mindful okay you need to use this this gift that you have been given of being the high priestess to nurture nurture be the mother of the universe that you were sent here to be be the goddess of light and bring people to the light do not let them stray from the, the light and go towards the darkness that is your job as the high priestess you are put you were put here specifically i'm being told very 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 sternly you were put here to change the course of the history of our future with love the light of god and you are a powerful manifester you can and you will do everything that you were sent here to do and you will do it with grace you will do it with compassion you will because the most high the holy divine the one and only true god will be there to guide you if he isn't there already guiding you down the path of light okay you will know this person this person will be known this person is a force to be reckoned with and shit i'd like to fucking meet her whoever you are please allow me to to thank you for your energy thank you if you're watching this video thank you thank you for giving me your energy thank you for being here to listen to my words thank you may god bless you okay now ooh, I, spirit is with me i don't know if you guys can tell i'm starting when when spirit is truly with me every follicle of hair on my body stands up and i get goosebumps everywhere and i start shaking do I need Kipper? No. No. Okay. The angels and the ancestors have something to say to our divine feminine. This, whoever this is going to resonate with this more mature woman that's her you see all the, let me let me pull these because these two right here you see her you see that light behind this woman as she's sitting there holding this close to her that's her channel that's her channel and god is behind her guiding her okay do you see all that majestic sunlight behind her yeah god is literally walking with her the black madonna our lady of the hermits i transform pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love and right in front of her was the high priestess i am one with my soul and my soul is a legacy of love this person is nothing but love a powerful healer i'm being told a very very powerful healer like anybody that's touched by this woman is going to know who she is anybody i'm being told just random people on the street will see her walking by and they'll recognize her from good deeds that she's done maybe not to them but to other people and they just go up to her and thank her I see people extending their hand to shake hers just to be in her presence. People just running to her because they know that that is where they can find pure, 
unconditional, unjudgmental love. This person is going to change so much of the vibrations of this of this existence. My ears are on fire. My face is on fire. My temperature is rising. Like there is so much energy right now. This is the mother of the universe. She's the card sitting right there. She is the mother to all that reside in this universe. She is the, the healer that that the world needs right now. Holy crap, man. This person, this person's energy is so intense. Like it's radiating through my heart. Like you see this, this is this is what I'm feeling right now. You see her heart chakra, the light immersing from her chest. That's what I feel. That's where my the, the, this warmth, this hot energy is coming from. It's right in my 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 heart chakra. Like I feel this woman's love. Wise one, grow within your current situation, High Priestess. Whoever you are, I'm going to just call you the Divine Feminine, okay? You are the wise one. That much more mature woman, she may have some gray in her hair. She may love have a love for owls or she is as wise in, as an owl, but owls are important. I'm being told my stomach is flipping, my intuition is firing. Owls are important for this person. Owls represent a great deal for this person. It, it, it's something that you'll notice on this person regularly. This person, oh, there's even, if you look, there's even a crow. Something with birds or f flying may have something to do with this person. But it looks like this this person, you know, you, you got the, the, seat, the wise one and the owl looking straight forward, but you have this one looking off to the side. Are the wise one you're going to change the world in your own way woman whoever you are spirit is with me and he is pushing me to say you are amazing i put you here for a specific reason you are already doing it you may not realize it but you you are doing it oh little little loki what's wrong i'll be with you in just a moment my darling we're almost done i think and then we go eat dinner, okay? Oh, sweet dog. Come here. Come here, Loki. You want to make your debut? Summer. Bask in joy and light. I'm being told summertime is significant somewhere. Like I was saying, June... You know? We already talked about this, okay? The day that this chosen one... I'm being I'm being corrected. The chosen one made her decision on the man she wants to spend the rest of this existence with. And I'm being told that 18th has a huge deal the number 18th has either it's the day or somebody's age. I'm being told. That was the day. First thing I was drawn to was fall. We're in fall now, okay? Oh, wow. My heart just sh freaked out. Okay. <whistles> All right. So we're going to put this one under summer because autumn has a, uh, is important. Release the old and reset. I'm being told that that is exactly what you need to do. You found out something in summer that you were basking in the joy and light. And now in this autumn, you are going to release that old outdated nonsense and you're going to find rest. I'm being told that this message right here in the middle is being specific to the divine masculine here. Okay. You need to release the old and rest your weary bones. West, 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 West. Your, why do I keep saying West? Anyway, rest your weary eyes. West your, again, excuse me. That is not, I'm not doing that on purpose. Rest your weary eyes. Lay your weary head down. 
close your eyes and dream, I'm being told. We have a high priest, intend and create. I'm being told that you, divine masculine, are the high priest to this high priestess. You are the divine feminine's masculine. She chose you. You see that bird? That's the bird in her freaking lap right there. That's you. She chose you. The divine feminine chose her masculine. You are the masculine that this is resonating with. The one that's watching this like freaking out because I feel my stomach like I feel like I'm going to throw up. Somebody's so excited. Okay. She claimed you as her high priest. The whole reason everything is happening right now is because this woman chose you. The high priestess, the high priestess chose you. Druid, hold the space. Hold your space for now, but in that space needs to be rest and healing. I'm being told that that is specific to the divine masculine. Hold your truth in your space. Hold your spirituality in your space. Your space needs to be purged. Your space needs to be cleansed. There is an energy surrounding your living space that's haunting you. You need to go get some Palo Santo sage sticks. You can get, I would highly recommend going on to Google and researching a metaphysics shop in your local area and bring your ass on over there and go get you a piece of fucking clear quartz crystal and get you some Palo Santo, get you some grandfather sage, get you some smudge sticks and just go through. The, you better open up them windows and doors and you better smoke that house up out of there. No, every window, every, every nook, every cranny right down to the drawers. When I do a purification, I go from corner to corner. Every inch of my house has sage touching it. Every And it looks like my house was on fire. And then I, all the windows are open and I let that shit go. Then I'm being told, hold your, hold your space as, it's, as if it's a sacred space. A holy, sacred space. And you need to purge that energy and you need to cleanse it. And anytime there's an energy that is not yours that enters your home and leaves, you need to cleanse it again. Because there are people surrounding you right now that are going to test you that are going to put you through tests i'm being told mr divine masculine that are going to test your 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 dedication to this woman that are going to put you through the fucking ringer and if you don't get this shit under control a sap you're going to lose the privilege of being her high priest indefinitely okay Hermit, retreat and recharge, Divine Masculine. We have right here, I saw her, where did she go? Oh, it was under here. The Black Madonna, Our Lady of the Hermits. Be a hermit for right now. Like I was saying, treat your, sit, your home, I'm being told to tell you. If you're a single person living alone, you need to keep it that way. You need to not let any person into your space. And if you do, if you allow visitors, make sure that you sage and cleanse that space as if it was the devil walking through your house after everyone leaves every single time. Because there are people going to come and people are going to go and they're going to leave bad intentions and bad energy surrounding your sacred space. And I'm being told that I'm being shown a place, a small, you know, it's a nice comfortable place, but I'm being shown that I'm being shown a dining room table, okay, a long table in a dining room, and there's something at the end, like there's the head of the table on one end, you know, where, where the main male would normally sit, and on the opposite end of the head of the table, at the, there's something there, like a table, there's something on that table that is holding toxic, nasty energy. I'm being pointed directly down at something, it's right smack in the middle of that table, there's something there. But I'm being shown a very long dining room table. I see a ton of windows. Beautiful. Very nice furniture. Very nice very nice setup, whoever you are. There's a table at the... Not where you sit, but on the other end of that... Of your dining room table, there's another table there. Some kind of accent table, and there's stuff there. There's something on that table that somebody gave you that's holding something that doesn't need to be there. It needs to be cleansed. 
If it needs to be burned and thrown away, burn it, thrown away. But it's on a table that's on the opposite end of your dining room table from where you sit. I don't know what it is. I'm not being maybe a picture. I'm seeing a couple, a picture of a couple in a frame maybe. And I'm being shown a circle around the female's face. Look at her face before you destroy that picture or whatever that item is. It's from that female. I'm being shown a picture of a man and a female. They look really happy, but that woman has a real devilish look on her face. And there's, I'm being told it could either be a picture in a picture frame or something that that woman in that picture that you're standing there holding, being happy, and she's kind of, eh, there's something from her on that table that needs to go. It's on a table. And I see something behind where you normally sit is, is like a halo protecting you. I see something behind you. There's something behind you that's protecting you from the evil that that other person is, that is, has left for you. I don't know if it could be the, the decision, you know, the, the something, maybe these are mementos from two people. Maybe this is just, you know, the energy showing me that there's one person standing on your side that's truly there to protect you. And then you have another manipulative person. Like I told you, the divine feminine, I'm being told that the divine feminine is the one that's closest to you. And the one that's across from you, the one that's the mischievous devil energy that's standing next to you acting like everything's fine. That's the one that whatever it is that you're at, that is on that table or in that particular space of yours that she gave you, something there of hers is bringing you really nasty energy. It's surrounding you and keeping you in this manipulative, nasty, toxic energy. There's something in your house that is holding, holding black magic to it to cause you stress. And I'm being told to affect your addictions. I'm also being shown a secondary table in a hallway I see, shoot, I'm trying to make this to where I don't give too much. I'm being told not to give any details of the room outside of the table, the, ch the tables. There's tables. So you have your dining room table and the table, and then there's the accent table across from it on the far end that you don't sit near, I'm being told. Specifically, it's on, it's across from where you, literally directly across from where you sit. So if you're at the head of the table here, here, let's put this down. I look down and I see a snake. Okay, here's your dining room table. Head of the table here, okay, where you sit. Other end of the table, there's another table here. Something on that table is holding really bad energy, okay? Now, get away from this table. Go down the hallway. There's a table here, right here, okay? I see stuff on the table. I see, see stuff on the walls. There's something also in a box on that table that you need to get rid of. I'm being shown a box. There's a, an arrow pointing to possibly a box. I'm being shown a lid pulled off. There's items in there. I'm not going to say what's in there because we don't need to put that out there. But there is something not okay in that box that needs to go. I'm being shown somebody taking that box, putting it on the table, laying it out. I'm being told there's certain items in this box that can stay... I'm being, say, I'm being told to tell you this. Stick with the 420, man. Everything else has to go. Everything down to it. If you're, if, if it, I'm being told specifically, if it doesn't grow in the ground, do not use it. If it's not pure water or tea or coffee, you are not to drink it. Period, point blank. Any, I'm being told specifically, Anything, do not, this is what Spirit's saying, do not use anything that will cloud your judgment. If you want to keep the honor of being the high priest to the high, to the high priestess, I'm saying it like that because that is the way Spirit is telling me to say it, to the high priestess, if you, are, if you want to stay true to being her high priest, you need to do as I say. Because if you don't want it, you don't gotta, you can do whatever you want, but it is your life. There is no one here that can control you in the 3D outside of the Most High God. Okay. Okay. We 
have Mother Earth feel loved and comforted. Now, the, okay, so I'm being told that the woman that is pregnant right now, okay, who's acting like Mother Earth, I'm being told she got pregnant in spring. She's watching her seed grow. She's acting all like, oh, I'm Mother Earth. I'm, I'm all centered and gravy and everything's amazing and all of that. But like I keep seeing her, I keep seeing her with devil fucking horns. And I see a tail swishing and she's just ready. I see a succubus. I'm not even going to lie. I see a straight up succubus. A red sex demon. She might have red hair. I'm showing, I'm being shown dark hair. We have an elder move beyond ancestral pattern okay i'm being told to be uh, this is specific it's not be move beyond the ancestral patterns i'm being told let go of outdated beliefs let let the arrow <clears throat> let the arrow of the compass point due north okay let your compass be your guide it can be your intuition I'm being told it's your intuition. Surround yourself with positive energy, or excuse me, surround yourself with protective energy. That's all you need. Okay, clear quartz and sage and spirit. F I'm being told this compass is an important tool. Allow whatever it is to gu that's guiding you to guide you to do north to your person. That's why she was being, I was being told to put her front and center because she is, you see the star behind her? You see the star behind her? That's the North Star. Okay, her third eye chakra is producing the North Star for you to, to follow. That energy she's sending you that's keeping you, you know, her on your, in your mind all the time, those thoughts that are drawing you to her, that is what's bringing your compass needle to do North. She is leading you to the direction in which God wants you to go. Okay. Now, this succubus over here, she is going to do everything and anything she can to keep you thinking that she's the one that you need to go to. Now, I'm being told that that is 100% accurate. She'll even come down to trying to mock and mimic the divine feminine. Now, the thing is, is the Most High God sees exactly what she's up to, especially being in this succubus, freaking temptress, freaking manipulating demon freaking mentality. Because it ain't all about what you see in 3D. Let me just be 100% with you. People's intentions are nasty, nasty. Any more from here? Yes. Yes, shuffle again. <sighs> being told it's a girl it's a girl she's pregnant with a girl am I allowed to give description no okay I see the little girl I see her description she's beautiful she really is I'm being told that if this child is this, is this child this child hasn't been born yet has the child been born yet I'm feeling like spirit's not telling me he's not giving he's not giving me the privilege of knowing if the child's been born yet or not has the child been born yet spirit Yes. I'm being given this, the I don't know sign. I'm being told, I don't know, I'm not supposed to tell you. Or I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Guess it's none of my business. Okay. Whatever. Well, we have a stag. 
trust and thrive. I'm being told specifically, trust. Trusting this person will help you thrive. Trust and thrive. Trust so you can thrive. Trust so you can go due north to your empress, to the divine feminine, and trust her so you can thrive, is exactly what I'm being told. We have a traitor. I'm being told to say that, to take it literally, you have a traitor on your hands that's exchanging energy to try to create an abundance against you. The words on this card are exchange energy to create abundance. She is a traitor. This woman is a traitor. This younger woman that's pregnant, acting all high and mighty like she's Mother Earth and all of that, she is a traitor. You have a shape-shifting fucking demon on your hands that's transforming and trying to steal somebody's gifts by acting like a copycat. You have an Earth Guardian. Stay rooted and stay grounded. There's Earth on the table. You have... Where's Saturn again? Capricorn. So we have Earth out here twice. Earth is important. Check all of your zodiac signs. There's more to go. I'll be I'm, I'm be real with you. Whoever you are, masculine, if the high priestess, the high priestess has chosen you, you should feel fucking lucky, man. This energy is intense. Okay, this energy is intense. We have a peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. Release, release control issues. And there's a card I wrote. I'm trying to remember the exact wording. Even when you're angry, keep it peaceful. So that way things can dissolve and resolve quickly. Okay. You have a seer. You have a mirror guardian. And when I see anything that involves mirroring, it just tell, it, it confirms to me that this is a twin flame and you guys are mirroring each other. So if she's a seer, you're probably giving been given those gifts too. You guys are reflecting what the other person is doing, but this person is a true seer. They, and you're probably mirroring them, but you also need to take time to reflect because if spirit is trying to give you gifts, you need to reflect so you can receive them. We have this winter, you need to take care of your needs this winter. So you have spring, fall, and winter on here. And summer. Did I see summer? We have summer, autumn, and winter. That is, too, this is too specific. This is too specific. It's literally telling you how this is going. It started in the summer. You're, it, it, everything's being figured out in the winter. You're going to take a journey to get to this person in the winter. Excuse me. Summer it all got started. Fall is when it was all figured out. And winter is when the healing will be done and you guys will be able to, re, to join up. We have an elder. Did I mess something up here? No. Yeah. The next one is move beyond. Oh, I was already read that one. Move beyond ancestral patterns. Do north. The mirror guardian. You peacekeeper. Earth guardian. babies okay Aww. here's a symbol on her chest and long beautiful flowy hair and that wears feathers but there's a symbol on the chest my eyes went straight for it trust your talents in changing times I want to say that your talents revolve around spirit I'm also being told to embrace your your talents Embrace spirit, which will help you embrace your talents, which will help you move due north. There's something about due north. Go north. Go north. Go north. Go north. Go north. Go north. That's what it's, it just keeps replaying in my head. Go north. 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 Due north. You're due. You are due north. That's what I'm being told. You are due north. You need to go up north. 
but there's something about this specific fox. I'm being told, look for the one with the symbol. No. Yes? No? There's something about... A, there's The symbol is important. There's something important about the symbol. Can you see it? See the symbol right there? On the chest. Flowy, beautiful hair. The beautiful piece on the head. There's a symbol on the tail. Maybe... No. Okay, I won't say that. But I'm being told that there are symbols. Look for symbols. Look for symbols. Symbols are important. But this chest one, I'm being told specifically the chest one. There's a symbol. I don't know. Maybe somebody's heart chakra. Paying attention to the way that they love you. It could be the symbolism of where it's placed, maybe on the chest. Something that involves the chest. Confirmation by my hiccup. I'm not being, I thought I was given it. I was thought he was about to give me another vision. We have a shaman. Trust in higher forces. Shield Maiden, play, make plans and focus. I also want to bring attention, I'm being told. Pay attention to her battle stance. She ready for action, bro. She's got plans and she's got focus and she ready to take it on like she ain't playing no more. Like, look at the whoop ass whooping she about to give somebody. She about to mess something up. And she doesn't, she looks like she's ready to, to defend, like serve and protect, bro. Like serve and freaking protect. She ready to be, go to battle, man. I remember my battle face from being in the service. Yes, that is a battle face. Like this woman is ready. And I see the tattoos. Again, my eyes are being drawn to the pretty necklace on her neck, her long, beautiful, flowy hair. And being, sh look, blue eyes. Long, beautiful, flowy hair, but she ready, man. Like, let's go. Okay. Any last messages from the angels and ancestors? The moon. See, we have the moon again. I said this in the very beginning of the reading. Could be cancer involved. A cancer can be involved in this. This, situ this woman is like a cancer. She's a fucking succubus. She's sucking the literal energy out of you through sex. And if you hold your power through your sexual energy, she's sucking it all from you. Okay? Take note of the intuitive messages you're being given. And I'm being also told to pay attention to the moon cycles. Pay attention to the moon cycles. It's important. Especially if you're... if Divine feminine... Yes, the spirit is speaking to you directly. You need to pay attention to the moon cycles because it helps you with your powers. Holy crap, I just realized this. Do you see this fucking demon right here? That's her. That's how I've been seeing her in my freaking head. A red sex demon with dark hair. Look at her bearing her freaking fangs. And this woman's about to put her ass out like I just said. Look. Look. I didn't even see that. I've never seen that in this card before in my life. And I've looked at these cards a few times. Like, I've I've only had this deck maybe two weeks. And I've only used it a handful of times. But I've, I, I've never seen that before on this card. I never, pay, I never saw it. And I've been saying this already now. My cards are showing me new things all the time. But this, this person right here, these two people are the same person about to, 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 it looks like she's beheaded the sex demon. Like she slayed, like she was coming in fierce. And this one, the Kali, the mother of the universe, done slayed that evil demon. She ready for battle and it's spiritual battle. She ready, she ready. 
this divine feminine is ready for spiritual battle ready spirit is on her side like she got that shield she got her sword and she's got archangel michael archangel uh, yeah archangel michael is with her and holy spirit and spirit is giving me a, a, a very euphoric feeling right now of pure bliss nervousness but bliss like i feel the energy is like yeah she ready like gung-ho joe navy kind of ready and she ready to take it on but she's got little nerves too you know but the thing is is that's just adrenaline keeping her in control of her feelings but she gonna take down that that sex demon whoever it is she's gonna take him down she's gonna take him down God's going to cut him down, and then this Divine Feminine will be right there next to God, cutting her down with him. But the, the moon, I'm being told the moon is very important. Sage, be devoted and committed. I've been saying this this whole reading. Y'all need to cleanse your space. Be devoted and committed to spirit, so spirit can allow you to be devoted and committed to each other. Specifically like that. The more you devote and dedicate to your to your life's work and your life's purpose, the more the Holy Divine knows that you're being serious about your gifts and you're taking them seriously and you're not using them for frivolous nonsense like cheating. Do not cheat. Do not receive a gift and end up getting it taken away for all eternity because you decided to use it for the wrong reasons. Direction, Guardian, you need to choose your path because here's the thing. The Divine Feminine has chosen her path. Now it's your turn to choose your path between a succubus or the Holy Divine's gift to you who is the Divine Feminine, the High Priestess. You have a choice to choose, okay? You have a choice to choose the lion or the bull. Which one are you going to choose? Or are you going to try to keep your freedom by not making a choice and just staying stagnant? That's what Spirit's telling me is on the table right now for you. And your, ch your choice between these three options will determine what Spirit does with you. For you. Against you. Whatever the case may be. I'm hoping it's the for you thing, okay? Whatever the case may be. But you got the choice between the bull and the lion. You need to make sure the lion is on the left, the bull is on the right, and the bird is in the front and center. That's an eagle. That is an eagle with two sets of wings. Choose your path. White witch, be the light, because the light. I'm being told that it's this person, the high priestess. You're probably calling her a witch. She's not. That owl again is very important. There she is. That owl, the owl is very significant with the moon over his head. Look at this. Okay. A white witch is a, is a person with, that is a gifted person that walks in the highest white light. People would consider me a white witch. I am a God-fearing woman. I am a spiritual person. I'm not, you know, okay. So I don't, I don't really look at the witch thing unless it's like the Wizard of Oz or manga or something cool like that, okay? Like witches do exist, believe me. Like we have the sex demon on the table and we have the high priestess, literally heaven and hell fighting against each other for the soul of this masculine. Heaven and hell are fighting over this human being right now. You need to follow the light due north. You are due north to do something very important with this high priestess. Be brave and be honest. Choose your path. You see that, that knight? You see that rose? You have one rose. The other two are budding. Okay? The rose that is ready for you is literally sitting there on your shoulder waiting for you to just look up from what you're doing and grab it just turn a little you'll see it just change your perspective just a little bit it did say let me find it trust in the higher forces first of all let go of the need to be right because in this situation you're not right because you're you're on the fence here 
and I feel the energy just let me see if I can explain this energy. Can you explain it? Can you show me it a little bit differently so I can explain this better spirit? All right, I'm looking at a person sitting on a chain link fence. One leg on one side, the other, he's straddling it, okay? And it, he looks like he's kind of leaning more towards the right than the left because it's easy. There's a st I'm looking at the fact that there's a step down, like it's an easier way down to a path and he's going towards the right. Now, because he's taking the easy way out, he's not going to be given the gift of being the high priest. So I'm being told to have you be mindful and remove, to move beyond the ancestral patterns that you have been raised to believe, and you need to look, and in, you need to look to the Most High God and be brave. Do not be the cowardly lion here in this situation, please. Because if you're just looking to take the easy way out, you will not be abundantly rewarded. And that high priestess right there, she's going to move on and hand that hand that gift to somebody else. And they're going to be blessed with gifts from the Most High God while you're dealing with the sex demon and the residuals of that. So, like I said, I don't want any... I'm going to say this right now. I don't wish any bad on anybody. I pray to the Most High God now. Please, Lord help heal whatever energy is going on. Please take this malicious, manipulative sex demon energy away from this young girl. Take it away from her, send it back to the pits of hell and allow her to heal so she can raise that beautiful little girl by her, by herself. If that's the choice that's being made, I'm being told by herself. Possibly by herself, there's a choice being made that could leave her either by herself or manipulating somebody. And my, when I said manipulate somebody, my heart got really heavy. Like, somebody's like, oh, man. Yeah, this person is acting like mother freaking Teresa because she literally has no other choice but to get you to believe that it's her because she's going to end up with nothing. Like, literally on her ass with nothing. Because she's a traitor, she's a freaking sex demon, and she is not here for your best interest. She's only looking out for herself. And honestly, does she care about this child? I'm being give, given the, eh, it, I could go either way kind of feeling. Aw, little dog, come here. Come here. Aw, sweet dog, you know you've been in here with me the whole time. Need to go outside. Okay, we're going. Almost done. Only 50, we only got 50 minutes. Yeah, honey. Aw, scritch the roof, scritch the roof. Really, really, really. Okay. Underneath, as I set the deck down. Hi, you come up? Come on. Come on. Up. Oh, there you go. Hello. All right, there we are. Hi, buddy. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So I'm being, Spirit's telling me to explain to you how I'm feeling about this, okay? So you see how Loki's just like all up in my business right now? Like that's how this girl is being. Like all up in your business, but not letting you in hers. Like she doesn't want to let you know nothing. She just wants you to do, 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 do for her. Only about her. All me, 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 me. Like a spoiled little child. So, Spirit is showing me this card on the bottom of the deck. Your star ancestors. First of all, your ancestors are guiding, guiding you, so pay attention. And follow the voice of your soul. Follow your soul. And here we go again with be not, the night. Be brave and honest. And enjoy, and reap the, uh, enjoy growth and reap the rewards of said growth. And if you grow in the right direction... Okay... If you start leaning towards the light, think of a big sunflower leaning towards the light. Okay, Loki. Think of a big sunflower leaning towards the light. And once you act like that sunflower and find the light, you will prosper. And you will be greatly rewarded. All right, sweetheart. Please let me get down so we can finish and we can go, okay? So. All right. Spirit saying just a couple of moonology deck or moonology cards, and that's the end of it. Okay, a new start is coming. A new start is coming. There's a new moon. Maybe the new start's coming in the new moon, whatever. They, but there are adjustments required. The third quarter moon. Conclusions are going are within reach, which are going to lead you to that new start. Ooh, okay, spirit confirmation. Thank you. All right, 
I'm being told here that you need to meditate and contemplate the situation before you make any rash choices, any rash decisions, okay? Because the decision to choose you has been made by the one that is being divinely guided, okay? That person has chosen you to be their path, and that's the one they're working diligently on, okay? You'll know, you'll know. The only way you'll know, though, is if you actually listen to Gigi and Spirit and meditate and contemplate the situation. You have a new moon in Pisces. We just came out of the full moon in Pisces, okay? Pisces in Zodiac is the very final um, astrological sign in our zodiac, okay? So think about it like this. this it, it, they, the Pisces have, they're a water sign, okay? Water signs are extraordinarily emotional. They're led a lot of the times by their emotions. And I know quite a few Pisces, and they're all emotional people. And it can, they can become very emotionally unstable very quickly, okay? So, you know, we are on the residual end of a full moon in Pisces. So, you know, just be mindful of that too and utilize this very energetic spiritual time to meditate and contemplate and allow spirit to give you the downloads to show you exactly who you need to go to. Because honestly, I truly honestly believe in the deepest part of my heart, oh, is he got a ball. Um, this person I'm being said to just say it outright. This person is manifesting you just as hard as you're manifesting them. Because even in your subconscious, you already know who she is. I'm being told that you're being a stubborn bull and that you are digging your heels in. I see the bull out of the, just, the bull's peeking out right here. You're being a stubborn bull. I feel like there's, the bull is very important, very significant. You might be a Taurus. Taurus might be in your ch chart somewhere. Okay. Taurus Leo, Taurus Leo, Taurus Leo. I don't know. The bull represents Taurus. The lion represents Leo. I don't know. But meditate and contemplate, guys. Is there anything else, Spirit? not for this reading okay all right folks that's it oh on the bottom of the deck you are very close to achieving your goal gibson moon you're very close to achieving your goal whoever you are whether it be the divine feminine the divine feminine I, like i said whoever you are thank you for your energy here tonight i appreciate it um just be mindful whoever this is for Divine Feminines made the choice. Now it's your choice. Now it's your chance to make the choice and achieve achieve every single goal you may have. But you need to make those adjustments and you need to make them now. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, one last time. We we show you this one already. No big deal. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Divine. Thank you, Angels. Thank you, Ancestors and loved ones that came through to help me. I close this reading. I love and appreciate you all. Thank you. All right, Collective, that's it for tonight. I'm done. Another hour-long reading here for Gigi. Uh, you guys are amazing. Good luck in this situation. I really feel like somebody needs to hear that, you know, somebody's at least proud that they're doing the work. Divine Feminine, I am so proud of you. If you are doing the work, which I believe you are, Spirit's telling me that you are. Is Spirit, is she doing her work? Yeah, she's doing her work. She's doing her work hard. She ain't playing. There ain't no time to be playing around right now. Not with when there's a freaking succubus on the loose. The way I see this is I feel like the, the enemy is out here right now utilizing these these people, these females, these, these succubuses, the incubuses, all of them to really manipulate the ones of good. I really believe that that is, that, that is what's happening here is that you're being manipulated. So be the seer that you are or go to see somebody that might be a seer and ask for their spiritual advice. Somebody that you trust. Don't just go to some random Joe Schmo online, okay? Because you, they'll manipulate you. And, you know, I was watching Spiritual Sag and she had to do, completely get rid of her Instagram because people were, you know, mocking her shit and, and charging people hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars to go and have readings done. And, uh, yeah... She had to get that shit put to a stop. So just be mindful of who you're going to. Because a lot of people try to use these cards to, to you know, they can, you can easily just, it can easily be done to copycat, you know. So don't, don't, if you, if it resonates and you know it, hey, 
do what you do, okay? But just be mindful of where you're going for assistance. All right? All right, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining. If this video resonated with you, please like. If you'd like, leave me a comment. I love communicating with you guys in this and uh, down below. Please subscribe to the channel so we can get us to 100 uh, subscribers and so I can do that gratitude giveaway. Okay, guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. Any sharing that you like to do, it's welcome and appreciated. And until next time, guys, light, love, and blessings. Bye for now.